This is a wrinkly shirt, and you're watching Chandler Channel. What is up, Brucefs, and welcome back to Cooking with Chandler, a show where I make some of the world's finest cuisine. Today we're making banana bread. All right, so for those of you who don't know what banana bread is, banana bread is bread made from the blood of bananas. <gasps> this is actually a recipe I got from Taylor and Jeff on YouTube. I'm going to link their video in the, the description below. Um, and so if you guys want to make the same recipe, you can just look for it there. So let's get started. First, you're going to need ingredients. We've got bananas, eggs, dark chocolate chips, lemon juice, baking soda, light brown sugar, one stick of butter. I set it out for a little bit so it's a little bit mushy. And everyone's favorite, all-purpose flour. So the first thing we're gonna do is take these bananas and we're just gonna eat them, you know? So yeah, the first step is to get the bananas, and a weird thing that we're going to do is we're going to mash them with lemon juice. That's what the recipe called for. Uh, I'm not going to question it, I'm just going to do it. Alright, so once we've got our bananas in there, I'm just going to take this really tiny whisk, and I'm just going to mash them. I'm going to mash them like they're long to your life. And I forgot to put in the lemon juice. Alright, so before we actually um, destroy these bananas because they killed our family, we're just going to add in the lemon juice. And then we're going to get to mashing. There's a fine reference that can be made here. There's like banana stuck in this whisk right now and it's hilarious. Alright, so once we've got that to a pretty good consistency, um, we're actually going to preheat the oven to 350 because I forgot to do that already. So let's do that. Alright, so then we're going to get started on this wet mixture. We're going to start with some butter. And then also some brown sugar. This is the weirdest way I've ever poured brown sugar in my life. So now we're going to take handy dandy whisk number two, and we're going to cream the sugar and butter, as the bakers would say. I probably should have left my butter sitting out more, but too late now. Gonna get a little assistance from my spoon. I'm really struggling right now. Okay, now it's starting to look like cream cheese, and I kind of want a bagel right now. Anyone else? Anyone else just love bagels so much that you want them constantly, and you wake up every day and realize that you should have brought uh, bagels when you went to Kroger, but you didn't because you keep saying, "Oh no, I don't need bagels. I don't want bagels." 
Mm -hmm. Me neither. It's the butter consistency for me. And this is what mine looks like. Like I said, it looks kind of like cream cheese. Um, I kind of want to spread it on a bagel right now, but that's besides the point. All right, so now comes the part where we get to do some fun things like crack an egg. We're gonna do one at a time, just because it's a little bit easier that way. I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of fun when I'm editing this. It's time for that second egg. This is the most horrible egg I've ever cracked. Like, look at this shell. It's so bad. Also, I just got egg stuff all over my recipe sheet, so that's great. Okay, so then we're gonna get this second egg beaten in there. I've always wondered why. Why did they call it, um, Eating an egg? Like, what if the egg wants to win? Ah! Alright, so now I have a really wet mixture. I probably shouldn't try to show it because I will accidentally pour it on something. Um, let's see if you can see it from this angle. I have a really wet mixture that looks really weird and kind of like someone like threw up in here, so that's great. So then we are going to add in the bananas. I feel like I'm already failing dramatically. This looks so bad. Okay, great. Now I'm going to set this barf aside so that I can do the dry mixture. <laughs> which is just mostly flour. You guys ever wonder like what kind of flour you got? Like roses, daisies, tulips, chrysanthemum? It never really says on the package. That's the video. Thanks guys. Bye. <laughs> you would think, hey, he's smart. It happened to him once. Maybe he should change what he's doing so it doesn't happen again. I'm not. I'm not smart. Fun fact, this is the first time I've ever bought baking soda. So, achievement unlocked or something? I feel like this is gonna end very poorly. Get it? Poorly? <laughs> then you're supposed to add like a little bit of salt. That seems like a good amount. I have yet another whisk, so I'm going to whisk together this dry mixture just so tiny bit. It doesn't really matter, but... Whoa, look at that. It's already mixed. Alright, so this is the part where I'm kind of confused. I know I'm supposed to combine the wet and the dry mixture, but I forget which one I'm pouring into which. Because I'm supposed to like stir slowly as I do it and only do bits at a time. I feel like it's smart to put the wet mixture into the dry mixture, but that's just me. So if this turns out horribly wrong, I'm only going to blame it on this. Just this moment, nothing else that I did. This is like very doughy. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm kind of scared either way. And that's not because I have a fear of dough. That's not a thing, I promise. You know, it's probably because I poured like way too much flour in, but 
You didn't see that here. It looks straight up like just bread. Like bread dough. It's so... I really hope this consistency is right. All right, and then we're gonna add in the chocolate chips. Yeah, I think a half cup is pretty right. Don't want to overmix. Something, something, baking 101. Alright, so now I'm just gonna oil this pan a little bit and then pour the mixture into it and put it in the oven. This is the moment I've been waiting for all day. I gotta make sure to get all of it. Alright, so now that it's in the loaf pan, I am going to put it in the oven for like 45-ish. See how it goes. And while that is cooking, I'm going to clean my work area and wash these dishes. Look at how beautiful she is. All right, Brucefs, we are back. We've got our banana bread. It's just finished cooling for about 20 minutes and it's time to cut into it. This is the moment of truth. Take a look at this. Wonderful. Love me some banana bread. All right, let's see how it is. Horrible. All right. No, I'm just kidding. It is pretty good. It's a little bit dry. I probably should have cooked it just a little bit less. Um, but overall, I think the flavor is good. I think there's a good amount of chocolate chips. And uh, yeah, guys, I encourage you to try this recipe. Don't mess it up and put too much flour in like I might have done. And thanks for watching. Make sure to comment your favorite flavor of banana bread. And I will see you guys another time.